The space at Mall C in downtown Cleveland is now quiet after a community forum happened to discuss the future of North Coast Lakefront plan. While the event is now over, the conversation is still moving forward. I'm Remy Murray with what we took away from this event. Over the next month, we will be in every ward in the city. A dream that's been in the works for a long time is on its way to becoming a reality. The North Coast Connector is the enabling infrastructure for everything that we want to do north of the stadium. Estimated to cost roughly $460 million in infrastructure and transportation work, Executive Director Scott Skinner of the North Coast Waterfront Development Corporation says he's excited to present the final version of the Lakefront Master Plan for the land north of the stadium. But he says there's just one thing missing. If our goal is to make this a place that Clevelanders will feel a sense of ownership of, we need to know what they think beforehand. So on Monday afternoon, the storm clouds held out for dozens like Gilder Malone to gather on Mossy's lawn and ask questions like this. Are you creating another entity that don't include people of color? As an avid visitor of Lake Erie and a longtime West Side Cleveland resident, Malone tells me she's afraid people of color will be excluded from this plan, as she says she's seen from other big projects in the past. I worry because the more we make things non-inclusive, we start to have people to act out. We made sure to work with um, different neighborhoods to translate our surveys to really go deeper in certain neighborhoods that we hadn't really gotten enough responses from. Cleveland planning director Joyce Van Wong recognizes Cleveland is a majority people of color city, so she says she and her team are working to make sure this project reflects residents like Quentin Green. Um, I think the more we include everyone in the city, the more that it creates um, just a better rapport. Right now, Wong says the master plan is 90 percent complete, but there are still other stages that need to be discussed, like the North Coast Connector, which will serve as a land bridge that connects Cleveland's downtown to the waterfront and a new multi-model transit hub to provide better access to Cleveland's downtown. We're not successful if the lakefront is only for a certain set of people. Project leaders say you can expect the conversation to continue as early as Tuesday at several different national night out events throughout the city. For News 5, I'm Remy Murray reporting.